Hi guys, welcome to my channel Cocktail Furious. So it's match 15 review between RCB versus Lucknow Super Giants at Chinna Swami Stadium. Yes, it was a thriller of a match. The match went to lost ball and uh, ultimately there was a lot of drama to be very honest. And uh, But LSG came victorious. You know, initially they had a, a big setback but really they came back very strong and definitely they will chase this win and RCB will be definitely disappointed especially losing at their home 10. Let's get into the review. <laughs> Initially, Lucknow won the toss and choose to bowl first. Any captain would have done this in Chinna Swami Stadium because uh, we all know that the ground dimensions is very small. Above sea level, the ball will be flying like something. And uh, initially, as usual, Virat Kohli and Fab Duplessis started really well. And uh, Virat gave the initial impetus and he scored 61 runs out of 44 balls. And that was a good innings. He would have liked to continue further, but he got out. And Fab Duplessis also, initially, he was a little scratchy, but he also played well for 79. But the main impetus given by Maxwell, to be very honest. In the end, he scored quick 59. Or else, definitely, uh, RCB would have not scored 212. They would have been short of 15 or 20 runs, definitely. So, uh, Maxwell innings was so crucial for uh, Bangalore. In the bowling point of view, nothing to say for Lucknow Super Giants. Yes, Mark Wood was back in this game instead of Romeo Arya Shepard. And Mark Wood really bowled well in this pitch. Four overs, you know, he got one made in just giving 33 runs on one wicket. is to be appreciable in this mainly Chinnaswamy Stadium. Apart from that, all the bowlers were expensive and RCB lost only two wickets. So, 213. This target can be achieved in this China Swami Stadium because the ground dimension is very small. And uh, there was a big setback for Lucknow Super Giants, to be very honest. They were all of a sudden 24 for 3. It was a fantastic initial bowling from Mohamed Siraj, you know, and also David Billy. They bowled really well and uh, this time uh, they brought uh, Dwayne Parnell also into the 11. And he was also a little effective, to be very honest. So 24 for 3, I thought, okay, the game is done and dusted. Even though Puran and uh, other players are there, Stone is there, but still 24 for 3 in uh, 4 to 5 overs, I think it's going to be very tough. And once again, KL Rahul was struggling to time the ball. Even in this Chinna Swami Stadium, that was very surprising because I thought this pitch will suit uh, KL Rahul and he will come back to the form. But that was not the case because he's once again struggling almost three matches, you know, with a strike rate of 100 he is playing and uh, definitely he will like to improve it in the next game. His team is playing really well, but individual wise, I think he's struggling a lot. And uh, 24 for 3, what we are going to say? and say anything about this. Yes, Tony's really started well. But and after uh, even uh, KL Rahul got out and they lost four wickets within 56 runs or something. So they were really, uh, you know, pushed back to some extent and RCB were so confident about the game. But the match turner was Nicholas Puran. I have told already in my previous videos, this guy is seriously, you know, hitting the ball like something. I have never seen people hit so hard, you know, the cricket ball like this. This guy is really doing that and uh, that was a casual innings. See, uh, pickup shots are uh, very easy in this uh, China Swami Stadium and he did the same thing. He has a lot of power. He is clearing almost all the big grounds and clearing this China Swami Stadium is not a big deal for him. You know, he was literally toying the deliveries, to be very honest. Any bowler comes, you know, he was like hitting sixes for fun. Out of nowhere, that was a free innings. And uh, he made a mockery of uh, RCB bowlers and uh, he scored his fastest 50 in this IPL 2023, which was held by Ajinkya Rahane a few days before. And now Nicholas Puran has the record of fastest 50 in this IPL 2023 and he got out 61 of 19 balls yes once he got out you know there was a big relief for rcb so the target uh, the run rate was like uh, 13 balls uh, 16 to win and uh, some or other they pushed it uh, till the last over and there was a big drama in the last ball when arshal patel was bowling you know ravi bishnoi left the grease initially and he threw the ball into the stems he tried to do one cut but he was not able to do but there was a lot of fun uh, yes the umpire uh, rightly said that uh, you know without uh, delivering the ball you can't uh, do the run out in the opposite side. Yes, that was a good decision from the umpire. All of a sudden, okay, it's all done and dusted. One ball, one run to win. There comes a big, uh, you know, uh, upset for RCB. Yes, uh, Avish Khan missed that slower ball. You know, he swinged it. Good ball from Ashal Patel. But DK really spilled out, to be very honest. He made a mess out of it. If he would have uh, gathered the ball correctly, definitely the run out chance uh, was uh, very much available. And RCB would have tied that match. We could have seen a first super over in this IPL. But he really missed it. And uh, all of all of a sudden, RCB fans and everyone were stunned. Even I got stunned because generally DK is a very good keeper, but he should have done better, to be very honest. He himself will be seriously gutted within himself. So, uh, a good chance for RCB to at least, you know, uh, when they could have gone for a tie, but they missed it. And they have to blame themselves, to be very honest. But Nicholas Puran was the game changer and uh, this guy is seriously freak. I think Lucknow will be very happy to have a guy like him 
coming at number 5 and number 6 and blasting like something if they are top order you know uh, plays well especially if Ro uh, KL Rahul come into the form this team will be deadly dangerous yes they have some weaklings in the bowling but uh, they have a great batting lineup to be very honest they will be working out the bowling also in the future games so uh, RCB will be disappointed with two losses and Lucknow are staying at the top now with six points, you know, after winning three matches and just losing one match. So, Lucknow will be very confident. And let's see how the remaining matches is going to pan out. We'll see you in the next video, friends. Until then, bye.